Welcome to a new series I'm doing. In this series, I'm going to be doing deck profiles, but for decks that are a bit experimental and hopefully should be a lot more interesting for y'all. These decks are going to have unique gimmicks, fun concepts, and hopefully are going to be pretty good. In today's episode, I've got a really fun one. Mutant Runic Nemesis. The concept is very simple. We are trying to rip as many cards off of our opponent's deck as possible using our Runic Engine as a strong base and using a combo with Necroface and Mutant MO5 to banish five cards off the top of our opponent's deck every time we banish his cost. Supporting this, we have the Nemesis engine to give recursion to help pay for Mutant's honestly insane costs. And we're going first. That's pretty lucky for us. Let's see how we respond to the Mutant combo. We're going to go ahead and get our arsenal out. And we're gonna go ahead and use our Necroface. Penguins! Interesting. We're gonna go ahead and set one to counter his searching. We're gonna go ahead and use Nemesis Keystone to put the Necroface back into our deck so we have a better chance of hitting one. So, what we're gonna do whenever he activates our effect, we're gonna negate it with Beast, banish the Necroface from our hand. Ooh, Keru Shin. I will go ahead and just negate that right off the back. And we have hit most of his combo pieces. He's going to get a search. We're going to force him to discard one. And hit even more cards from his deck. Swap Frog. That's really good we got rid of that. That would have been a problem. We've banished his Torrential Tribute so he can't get it with Karu Shen. Let's see what two penguins he gets. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and ba banish Nemesis Keystone because he gives us recursion when he's just in the grave, when he's just banished. The question is, what do we want to get rid of? Hmm. Probably that. I don't think he really knows what to do about the situation I put him in. I don't have a battle phase, but he's not going to have a deck if he continues like this. See? We get to recur this. And you know what we get to put back? Ooh, this is actually really good for us. We can get rid of that trap immediately. Back one of our necro faces. And we set up our keystone. We don't actually get a battle phase. But that's quite alright with me. He's in a bit of an awkward spot. Because if he gets rid of my uh, mutant beast in a way that doesn't just banish it, I get to add back one of my traps, which will be Mutant Cry, which will let me fusion summon out my big boss monster. Oh, he had another one! That's actually really unfortunate. Although he did normal it, so I think we're better with that. What's his play? He still has penguin monsters in his deck. Man, what is he even able to summon here? Penguin shoulder. Oh, that's cool to double banish. That's amazing. And I will take my recursion. All right, uh, right, let's do an e-tally. I think we just, yeah, let's go for a mutant spell trap. I am going to turn on Always Chain. Maybe we'll get priority here, but as soon as we get Mutant Cry up, we're going to get our big Omni Negate monster out. Ah, oh, I miscalculated. We didn't banish all of them yet, somehow. We're going to reset the Arsenal. And Mutant Mutator. So there will be life. Uh, we're going to wait on his effect. We have a monster to get up, which is amazing. And we're just going to go ahead and negate that. Uh, let's go ahead and banish Beast. And that's another e See, so if we banish a trap, we get out Arsenal. Uh, we actually don't have that live. This will get rid of itself, thanks to... 
Next you tell let's just go into battle phase. Attack. I will use that effect to draw one. Okay. Ruling question time. If we necro face our... I think we live if we necro face ourselves here with one card in deck. So we'll go ahead and do it. And that's how you play Mutant Nemesis Runic. It's such a cool deck. Rock. Rock always works for some reason. Okay, how do I want to play this? I think we do the Runic stuff first. So we don't banish out our own stuff. Oh my god, it's another 60 card deck guy. Good thing is, we're going first. I'm gonna use that effect. Uh, I don't, we're gonna get rid of the trap here, which is a bit unfortunate, but... Oof, it is what it is. I'd rather have the field spell up. And we'll do the combo here. There's our two disruptions, and let's get some cards off the deck. Our opponent appears to be playing pure anti-meta in a 60-card pile. We'll activate that, and we're into our turn. Decking him out will be a real challenge. Yep, Fossil Dyna. I'm going to banish this. Mutant Clash is a really good draw here. Since we already don't have our battle phase. Goes in match. Oh no, I'm so scared. I'm going to attribute a monsters. Oh, we get rid of the spell one, I guess. Okay, and an armor curl. I want to equip spell from your deck to your hand. Then you can equip it to one appropriate monster you control. Okay. Uh, let's see what he goes for here. Moon Mirror Shield. Earth or Fire. Probably Mutant Beast, and we'll just banish Mutant Clash. Oh, it didn't let me to get it. Interesting. Hmm. Let's go for a draw two. Or a draw three, actually. That's pretty good. Mutant Clashes, we're going to set that up. Alright, I'm prepared to play the long game with this man. I'm going to go ahead and activate this, and we're going to hit him with a fat necro face. Now we just need to figure out how to get rid of that goes and match, and we are good to go. And he surrendered. Alright. Rock. Rock again. Rock is never wrong. Okay, pretty funny hand. Let's start this out pretty simple. Does he ash this? Uh, that is the correct play, by the way. You start him at the beginning. In perm. All right. That's fine. I have a plan B ready. Let's hope we can get a little lucky with this. Nemesis Keystone Recursion is very good. I'm going to go ahead and pop that back. You know how it works. Ooh, interesting Ash Blossom here. I don't know if I would have gone for that. We could make this as a excellent... Huh. Is that worth it to make? I think we make it just so we have an easier time putting this Mutant Grave for Mutant Clash.
Yeah, Mutant Keystone. Nuts card. And there's the Magician Souls. Yeah, it's gonna special summon itself. That's fine. Nadir Servant. Ooh. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of that, actually. Albaz? Okay, so... That's probably gonna be an Atis. Wait, what? What did he send? Oh, okay, I see. Sure, I'll let him get the search off. Yep. We're gonna let him get the special, but we're just gonna banish it with Mysterio. That's fine. Bystools! Sure, you can get your search. Branded Fusion. Okay, what do we want to put back here? Let's just go ahead and activate another E-Telly. Make our full board back. I manage that with crime, as you do. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna activate this. I'm gonna up our boy Nemesis flag, targeting this. Just so we can't, it can't get its draw effect off. And then we'll go ahead and end since we can't attack this turn. And we'll get our boy, flag back, our keystone. What has it got up his sleeve here? Okay, alright. I believe it fizzles because he has to fusion someone using that as a material. I'm having to get ready for that too. I want to go ahead and... Ooh. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. That's fine. Alright. Newtons take another life. Cool. Rock. Brock. 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 <laughs> okay, honestly, a very weak hand. Um, how do we solve how do we solve this? D shifter. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh, that makes flag lie, which is actually something we can work with. Oh, shit. We need something that isn't Nemesis Flag. Oh, man. This deck has awful bricks. Well, we'll just have to live with that, unfortunately. Cosmic Cyclone. Oof. Yeah, man came ready. <laughs> Looks like he's just playing Flunderies. Be fair, I could be wrong. Let's see what he's got. Yep, 
Yeah, just flunderies. It's a shame we didn't draw into one of our mutant starters, but that's fine. But that's fine. I mean, it is definitely not fine. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and surrender here because there's nothing in our hand that stops what he's doing. And there's nothing we draw into that can play around a Flunderies board. All right, let's try this. Let's go Rock. And then Rock. Rock has failed me. And that's a pretty solid hand. We can work with that. I'm going first. What? It's bizarre, but sure. Mutator. Yeah, some mutants have one combo line that's actually good, and the rest is just kind of depressing. I'm going to banish a mutant cry from deck. Uh, let's search. Ooh, we could try to go for the big boss monster. That's something actually feasible if we want to banish... Yeah, let's do that, actually. I don't have to shuffle back our keystone, but that's fine. Loops, brother. Gonna reset keystone. Now if we banish all of our guys for their own cost, we'll have, we'll have our big Omni Negate lies. Maybe the runic, or it's a spell or trap pop. That's not, it's pretty 50-50 if that's going to be relevant. So we'll see. Well, maybe I'll take him off guard. Oh, he's just going to evenly match me. Yep, I'm ready. Oh, wait, that's during the main phase only. Shit. Oh, that's game. You got it. So what did we learn from playing this deck? One, this deck is definitely not good. Mutants have a really good core combo. And with cards like Necroface and Nemesis Keystone, you have more than you really think going for you. The problem is, mutants on their own are too inconsistent, as you have to reliably draw one of your main starters. And mutants still have the same problem they've always had on release, of not really playing nice with any other archetypes. Runics actually work somewhat nice with this, but it's too inconsistent to really use reliably. If you're going out of your way to pick up runic tips, go ahead and just play them in something else. Unless you think, if you already have the mutant core, it's like less than 20 bucks. Maybe consider this giving this deck a try, but it's not making mutants meta. Runic skipping your battle phase hurts so much in this particular build, because unlike in something where Sprite, where you actually can get to the resources to really stop your opponent, mutants kind of just have to flare out aimlessly, hoping to do something. Uh, this deck does take more skill than initially thought the play, there's a lot going on here, and they all kind of move in different directions. But when it gets going, you can get rid of a lot of cards from your opponent. If I had to make any changes, it would be to cut this terraforming. And honestly, that's about it. We don't get to use much of our side deck. Psy Impulse is pretty strong. It's hard to find usage for it in a format with so many hand traps. Maybe even main decking Mystic Mind could be very helpful to the deck's overall playstyle. But I'm not completely sold on that. If you are going to take Mystic or this deck to a more competitive event in air quotes, I would probably put in Mystic Mine in the terraforming. Whether or not you think my build is good, what I want to accomplish with this series is letting other people see these cool deck ideas and maybe do something with it. Because right now I have a good start to a deck, and while it's not there right now, I think maybe with a bit of work, maybe some new support in the future, we can have a deck that's genuinely very cool, at least on a casual level which this deck struggles to do in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.